Hi, I'm Jennifer from Shabby Fabrics. Today I'll be showing you how to make this pretty fabric flower that we've used as a pin on this uh, fat quarter tote. Or you could use like a bamboo skewer and put these in a pot of flowers. Super cute decoration for springtime, summertime. So let me show you how simple and easy this is. Now I just, as a matter of convenience, because I'm using the Dresden wreath, um, of the Dresden ruler rather, by Creative Grids, which has the circle. I'm just gonna use that. But if you don't have that, it's a three and a half inch circle. You could maybe cut out of a piece of cardboard or maybe the bottom of a glass. In any case, you'll need to pick whatever fabric you wanna use and you'll just be tracing around and cutting out six circles, which I've done ahead of time. Now I'll be using a just an orange thread so you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Go ahead, I'm gonna use the iron and I'm gonna press that and press one more time. And you can do that with all of yours ahead of time. Now, so you've got this little kind of a fan come from underneath. Now I've knotted this on one and I've got two strands. So because this is gonna be a little bit of tugging on this, you're gonna to, going to want two strands of thread. Come up from underneath about a quarter of an inch away from the edge. And I'm just going to come down, come back up, down, back up. You're kind of running a, a, a gathering stitch. And then come back up again about a quarter of an inch from the end. And then just pull that down, work that down through your thread. And you see how it's formed the, fir it's formed the first petal. And now I'll go off camera and make five more because this is a six pointed flower and I'll show you how to finish up your flower. Now that I've put the other five petals on, I have a total of six and you can see how they look. To close that up, you kind of just make it work. That's my new phrase with a lot of these crafts is you know, you know what you need to do and you find a way to get it done. So what I'm doing to try to get this done is I'm going back into the very first one where my knot was kind of coming in there, kind of that meaty part. And I'm just gonna bring that up, there we go, to kind of create the full circle. I put a couple more stitches in there. It's gonna be hidden by the button. I wanna reinforce that because I don't want this to come apart. Tie a little knot there. Now I could have gotten that probably a little bit, a little bit snugger, but the great news is the button's gonna cover up anything that I didn't get as snug as I could. could. Um, you need a little piece of felt for the backing. Like this is about a one and a quarter inch, one and a half inch diameter. And you'll just iron that to the back. We'll do that now with some hot glue. You could certainly stitch it, but then you have to worry about the stitching showing through to the front. So just, just hot glue that on there. Now, if you were gonna do the bamboo skewer like we did, um, you could just, you know, you'd wanna kinda of get that in there and then put that backing on there. Um, today, because I'm gonna be putting it on our fat quarter tote, I have a pin clasp and you wanna bias that not in the middle, but toward the top because in the middle it kinda of flops forward. So let's just put that up toward the top. Great. And then for the button, you could certainly, again, if you wanted to sew that on, you can, or just hot glue that on, just to make it so quick and simple. So that's all there is to making flower pens from Shabby Fabrics.